Yes, uh, good afternoon students. Uh, am I audible? Yes, sir. Yeah. Uh, still many have to join. Uh, so these are a few uh, example what we understood uh, last class uh, and then uh, again uh, the bubble sort technique using uh, comma as the delimiter we worked on this and then so binary search um, uh, elements are hard coded in the program but key element is read from the keyboard uh, solution to that I think this uh, program uh, we were doing discussing uh, last class. <coughs> what we'll do is uh, uh, we we will execute this and then we will continue. Okay. We we even uh, yesterday I got few responses from you people. Uh, you people responded uh, to this. Uh, now let me uh, start with the uh, execution of this and we'll continue to the next uh, programs example programs so <clears throat> so in this uh, we have written uh, the definition of binary search still i got to copy the remaining part so this is still here uh, binary search uh, definition and then this is what uh, the test list I have taken and reading the element and then passing it as an argument test list and uh, the element converted into integer to binary search and then uh, based on the return value from binary search we go for saying whether it is found or not found okay let me execute this now it is asking me to enter the element to find so i'll input so two so two is there in the list so i got element found okay so now i'll run it again Uh, element to find I'll give the one which is not there say 45 I'll give so element not found so this is working so even I got uh, the very good response yesterday from the students uh, except this uh, many had written it as a single slash but so you got to give it as uh, two slashes okay uh, this is uh, as far as the binary search is concerned so we'll see what's there in the next yeah so now uh, write a python program to search an element using binary search read required elements and key from the keyboard so okay so because in the previous program uh, the uh, elements were uh, hard coded only key element you are reading from the keyboard now i want everything to be read from the keyboard yeah start doing it start writing
I hope you people are writing. Students, can I have your response? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. So only when you start writing, you learn it. Uh, I want you to place few uh, answers here in the chat box. So one or two at least. I'll go to the next one. <coughs> Uh, I got one response. Okay. Reading. Input. Okay. Okay. And the logic, I think, uh, yesterday uh, it was uh, written by your people. Okay, uh, and this is uh, very small in size. Let me zoom it a little bit.
Okay. Yeah, this uh, I don't know whether you people uh, people can see it properly. So same thing, uh, getting the input from the keyboard. If you just observe here, see uh, we're reading here and the elements enter the element to find. So reading the key and yeah, uh, that is it. Uh, rest all is same. So now uh, I have the other program to you. Pro Python program to reverse a given number. Program should read the required input from the keyboard. Yeah, do this. The, the, this similar type of program you've already done using uh, C, but now I want to do it using Python. I hope you have copied the question. Write a Python program to reverse a given number. The program should read the input from the keyboard. Yeah, you should not take much time to write uh, that. Uh, you can quickly do it. Reversing. Yeah, I got the response. Enter the number. Number you copy to copy. Reverse zero. While number greater than zero. Yeah, good. Input okay, reverse is equal to zero while number greater than zero. Uh, but uh, uh, there is no concept of uh, opening parenthesis here, okay. But still, okay, no problem because you have the influence from the other programming languages. Uh, reverse of entered number is. Okay, good. Okay, le let me go and show you the answer now. Okay, I've received one more, but I'm not able to see it properly. I don't know. Yeah. 
yeah here is uh, the solution okay even i have used okay no not an issue you can use uh, the opening and closing parenthesis So this is uh, uh, the solution now, uh, same thing, the same logic what you have written, Karen, uh, the same thing, uh, we will execute this quickly and show you. So I am finding here uh, the reminder and then finding the reverse number, uh, the same logic, reverse into 10 plus digit, this one we are adding and then we are finding the new quotient, okay. And we repeat the process as long as n is greater than 0 and finally we print the reverse number. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, I had taken, now the reverse number is 4, 3, 2, 1. So, so next, uh, I just want you people to copy this program because I have a small work to do. Uh, just copy this program and try to uh, solve it. I, I hope you people have copied this. Uh, write a Python program to find the list of divisors of any given integer. Uh, the program should print the list of divisors, smallest divisors and biggest divisor. This is uh, the question. Okay. Uh, just uh, make an attempt to write a program to this Python program. So I have a small work. Let me finish it. So, so how do you can, can provide, provide the, the, the challenge, challenge providing the security, security the cloud or the network, network is a major, major challenge. challenge. So, so even though whatever the security, security concern we have taken, taken still, still there is a breach in the security. security. That, that what type of security, security algorithms you can provide for that. You can also search and compare. So and also how the QoS quality, quality of service, service which is required for the workflows. So another so cloud security, security we have already have the encryption techniques, techniques there are standard, standard algorithms. algorithms. What, what most, most of the students, students will do, already the cloud service providers, service providers they'll use, use the standard, standard algorithms, the ML, Amazon Fi, they use MD5, Google, they use like the Microsoft, they use ND, APC. So the the students what they use, they'll send one file. They apply the RSA algorithm, they encrypt the data. Again, they store in the cloud. Already the cloud which secured that whatever the data you sent. So even the students also do the, again they will do that encryption. Just like we are keeping our valuables in the bank locker. Locker is already they have given the security. In that you are 
uh, put your valuables in a pouch or some other security. It's not like that. So your own, what type of algorithms you are using to once you deploy your own private cloud or hybrid or the community clouds which you can create and that what type of service you are providing that service how you provide the security that kind you can do so otherwise the, already the uh, cloud service providers which are using their own algorithms to provide security so in that again you don't do that okay just by simply one message they will send or one file even one file also they will not consider that kind of cloud computing projects are not allowed Okay, so this searchable encryption algorithm, Elgama, let us say, uh, elliptic or cryptography, nth truncated polynomial, that is the uh, encryption you can do. This already, this is aware with the blockchain technology, the most of this, the SHA algorithm, secure hash algorithms, they are using SHA1, SHA2, 3, with different, the bit sizes they are using. So you can also use this type of algorithms to secure your data. And Whirlpool algorithm. Whirlpool algorithm is there. So these are the different. So you cannot provide 100% security, but you can try with this and check the performance which security algorithm is best. You can decide that. And there are distributed, so like distributed system. So already you have studied operating system, distributed operating systems, and all the concept. Which one is best? That also you can do with this. And the shortest path which you are studying now, mutual exclusion, the Raymond's algorithm, record a group, voila, algorithm, snapshot algorithm. These are the various algorithms. We might have heard some algorithms which are, that is the standard algorithm, Dijkstra's and all. So other algorithms which can, you can try with this, with different layers and you can check the performance of the cloud so these are the topics which you can go with the you can carry out this project it's in this the high speed train operation safety assessment with empirical research and fuzzy group decision making method the data which you are deploying that and you can apply this for decision making and pulse code neural networks for underwater robotic visual system under cloud only and this Okay, uh, okay, uh, sorry, um, okay, uh, dear students, I add a small word because I had started another meeting there. Uh, which is uh, the seventh semester project guidelines meeting since I had started it I had to download the attendance list uh, so I joined there uh, okay mm. yeah I can see the responses here okay so 
yeah good uh, thanks for uh, the response i'll show you the solution now for this so i think i have few more uh, programs after these things so we'll quickly complete see how this is uh, the program so enter an integer we're reading the integer and then uh, i'm creating an empty array list for i in the range see uh, two so because i am not starting from one so sir we can't see your screen oh oh sorry yeah now this is the uh, solution now okay so for i in range uh, 2 and n plus 1 okay uh, Again, I'm reading from here. So between these two range, correct? Right? So in steps of one, it will go. If I modulus n modulus i is equal to zero, I'm just appending it. And then finally, so uh, I am just shorting it. There is uh, a function called a short which you can call on uh, the list. So a dot short. So print list of divisors uh, is equal to a and uh, the, the, this has all the divisors i'm printing it and the smallest divisor i'll pick uh, a of zero and i'll reverse it again see shorting in ascending order it does so a dot reverse if you call it will short them in the decreasing order and then calling uh, biggest uh, okay the divisor is a of zero again so so this way you can do it more uh, beautifully okay so let me copy this and execute oh, hope you understood with this just have a look Any doubts in this? Yes, students. So I'm running this. Say forty five I gave list of divisors. These are all the list of divisors. And this is the smallest divisor and this is the biggest divisor easy to find when i'm finding the smallest divisor i'm arranging in decreasing order and smallest divisor is three and and when i want to find the biggest divisor i'm arranging it in reverse order and printing Yeah, I'll just go to the next one. Yeah. So I want you to do this. Write a Python program to print largest E1 and largest odd number in a list. Read the required list from the keyboard. Yeah, do this. So something similar to the one which I showed you in the previous program. Same thing you have to do. So copy this. Python program to print largest E1 and largest odd in the list. Okay. So... I'll just go to the other one. So I, uh, I have one more small work in the other meeting. I'll just finish that and come back. Meantime, I want you to write a program to this. The middleware for web services using the security policy and multi-cloud tenancies. 
that is also multiple clouds you can how they are collaborating the multiple clouds and how they are optimizing that resources using that that we can also take up and energy efficient algorithms in cloud data transfers for dynamic virtual machine that consolidation is there the algorithms which are networking algorithms for the wireless sensor so that so you can take up and round wise fair round robin scheduling algorithms for asymptoting complexity based mobile clouds the clouds which are in mobile so for that how to manage your data and how you are allocating fairly the resources to the all end users so so already we have round robin algorithms so here you can go with the asymptoting complexity based mobile clouds so and the x ray heat allocation algorithm in a cluster to a single cloud fixer so there are various algorithms and clustering that and apply so lk also is already they have developed uh yes uh, okay how many have left okay there there 61 participants okay uh yeah now op people have written answer for that question Okay, this is uh, uh, no. I have not received uh, the answer for the question which I gave you. Largest even and largest odd. Okay, I got one response. Hmm. Even dot append dot dot append. Okay, good. Yeah, I'll show you the answer now. Solution. so this is the program now uh, i'm reading the list here I created an empty list b then for i in range 0 to n so i am just doing this uh, a is equal to input the element i'm reading the element i'm immediately after that appending to uh, the list b i'm creating two list e and o okay one is uh, even and the other one is odd even list and odd list for i in b i'm just checking if the condition is true then i add it to the uh, even list append uh, the element to the even list or otherwise i'll append it to the odd list 
then I'm shorting both even list as well as uh, the short list sorry odd list and then count one as initialized to zero count two is initialized to zero so then uh, so just to count uh, the number of elements I think yeah uh, for k in e so I'm just incrementing the count uh, one for j in zero uh, o I'm incrementing the count two and then I'm printing it okay uh, so uh, C of count 1 minus 1 I am taking the largest even and for this uh, uh, D of uh, count uh, 2 sorry not D sorry this is O oh, one second this is a C what is this C no kidding I think I've made a mistake. This is sorry, E of O and this is O of count to minus one. Okay. Or otherwise, uh, since you're shorting it in ascending order, okay, or uh, you reverse it. Uh, do the reversing, E dot reverse you do, and you can directly print it by saying uh, E of zero and o dot reverse by saying uh, o of zero so both there are two ways of doing it so we'll execute this just uh, compare this with what you people have written So enter the I think invalid literal for the hint. Oh sorry. So five elements, okay. So again int is not iteratable saying int object is not iteratable line number 19 Uh, uh, students, please check whether uh, uh, you can so add. For J in zero, sir. Where? Okay, okay. Uh, J, yeah, once again, I, I have to write it again. Yeah, this for I in B, okay. Sir, J, J. Uh, J, yeah, I. J in O. Okay, sorry. So we got it. Uh, the largest even number is 4 and uh, the largest odd number is uh, 5. So you can do this way or otherwise. So all these things you can avoid. Okay. Mm. Let me delete this from here. I just say e dot
reverse and row dot reverse and you can say e of 0 and o of 0 So this way also this is easier so what i was doing earlier i was just counting the total number of elements in the even list and in the odd list and then uh, i was using uh, uh, count one count one minus one and count two minus uh, one so that way also you can do but this way it is uh, more easier okay so we'll see what's there in the next Yeah, do this Python program to accept all three digits and print all possible combinations from the digit. I think this is the last program here. program to get all combinations from the three digits from the uh, three digits here yeah. Okay, I'll just show you the solution. Yeah, I'm reading the first number, converting it into int and assigning to A. Reading the second number, converting it into int, assigning it to B. Reading the third number, converting it into int and assigning it to C. Created an empty list D. I'm appending uh, to this empty list D all the three numbers, all the three digits. Now, uh, running uh, three uh, nested for loops here. For i in range 0 to 3, for j in range 0 to 3, for k in range 0 to 3, and if i not equal to j, and j not equal to k, and k not equal to i, I go for printing this. And this will give you uh, the numbers, uh, all combinations of the three digits what you enter. Okay, So we'll uh, quickly run this program. So enter first number, I'll take 1, enter second number, I'll take 2, third number, I'll take 3. So all three combinations, uh, so all the combinations of three digits are printed. 1, 2, 3, 1, 3, 2, 2, 1, 3, 2, 3, 1, and 1, 3, 1, 2, 3, 2, 1. Okay.
uh, OP people understood with this logic. Uh, this is the last slide here in this. So that's all. And before uh, I proceed with the next one, okay. Uh, now we'll stop for today. This is enough, I think, uh, because now I was managing three three meetings. Okay, uh, one meeting with you people, another meeting with some of uh, the project guidelines, and uh, one more meeting with principal. Uh, right now, uh, through my mobile phone, I'm connected to principal, uh, and so that I think uh, how effective uh, was today's class. Um, so, but uh, since the programs, you know, uh, uh, compared to my work, uh, your work was more uh, in the today's uh, uh, session uh, because I asked you to write the programs and uh, uh, if, you, if you have uh, written it and I have shown you the solutions also. Okay, I uh, will Okay, um, that's the case. Okay, then we will uh, end it. And I uh, can see some ultra tools import oh, yeah, combinations uh, by using this function combination. One student has done it using uh, the combinations function which is there in the ultra tools. Yesterday, uh, I was uh, talking about the module function tools. Similar to that, there is uh, a function, uh, some uh, module with the name ITO tools also. Yeah, one student has given uh, the response using that. So this way also you can do it. Very good. Okay. So now uh, uh, we'll uh, end the session. If you have any queries, uh, uh, you can ask me. Uh, because I have to join the other meeting, uh, the project guidelines meeting, uh, because I have one more uh, presentation, my part to be completed there. Um, if you have any queries, please do ask me. Hello. Please. Do you have any queries? No, sir. No, sir. Yeah. Uh, okay. Then uh, we will join for the uh, to next class Monday. 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 Uh, there is no class. I think. Uh, next class will join. Huh? I'll continue from the next point onwards. I hope uh, keep practicing all these programs. Okay. And uh, uh, keep writing uh, the programs on your own uh, for uh, the various logic which you have done till now. Uh, try to convert them into the Python programs. Um, okay, uh, thank you. Uh, I'll end the meeting so because I want to join the other one. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Yeah.